of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins, harassment of Yo guys, what is going on Tim Pursuit and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own intro using After Effects. Um, basically guys, you can get this for free, it is, there's many ways on YouTube. Um, so yeah, if you don't have it then it's definitely worth getting. Um, if you can pay for it then yeah, that's pretty good but it's a sick um, software, I've recently got it and it's amazing, Like I really do like it, I've been using it and practicing. I've been getting better. I'm not amazing, but I'm, st I'm still learning. But, um, you know, today I thought I'd show you guys how to make a simple intro. It's nothing too hard. Um, so, yeah, let's just get straight into it. I did make this video uh, before, but it, it had no sound, so I'm doing it again. Um, but I can make this I can make this one better. I can make it better and shorter. So, yeah, what you want to do is go over to here, create a new composition and um, basically you can leave all this the same, you can change the title if you want, the composition name, uh, you can change the background colour as well, so I think I'll just do something like, I think I'll use green, so there we go, this is the main area here, this is where you can view everything, you've got the timeline at the bottom, um, this is where all the files are imported and stuff, and then on the side you've got all the different effects, as you can see, um, effects and presets, character, um, align so if you want to align something in the middle and then you can add more stuff you go to window and all this type of stuff on the side but you don't really need to know that if you're new like me you can just go through the basics so the first thing we're gonna do is just add a smooth transition from left to right um, in fact I'm just gonna start this again I'll just delete that add a new composition I want to make it white I'm gonna start it off on white and then make it go to that green color so something like this um, and then you want to go to the rectangle at the top go to fill and then we'll choose a color choose whatever color you want I'm gonna go with that green and then you just want to click and drag make a green shape and then as you can see at the bottom over here this is the layer and this is this is basically what's on the screen right now so what we're gonna do after one second if you just go over to there go to one second and as you can see it's moved over a little bit we want this green thing to come in so um, we're gonna go to this arrow over here go to transform and then go to position and click the little timer to add a keyframe so the keyframe is here and it's right so the, the green part is in the middle before we go to the start we want to make sure it's not in the middle we want to make sure it's to the very left so what you want to do is just click and drag on this part over here and just move it to the left side. So then it starts off on the left then comes into the middle. So if you just watch that back, just start from the beginning, press space, it looks like that. But I want to make it a bit smoother so if you just highlight these two keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease and then it looks like this so it starts off fast slows down and goes fast again and it gives it a really smooth little uh, motion so now the next thing I want to do is um, basically do the exact same thing but from the top so once it comes in we want one to come from the top and we'll make it white we'll make it that white color that we had at the start so if you just go to fill and then go to the pipette, which is just right here, and then click on the white. I want to make a rectangle again. Oops. It's not that colour. Let's try that again. Fill, pipette, and then it's that white which is there. So if you go to transform, go to position, and it'll add a keyframe. But we want the keyframe to be. We'll do it from the right actually, so we'll start it off on the right and then come into the middle. So guys, once it's right in the middle, you want to highlight it, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease. So if we watch that back, it should look something like this, boom, boom. But I think that's a bit too quick, the second one. 
Yeah, so we're just going to spread that out a little bit. So now, it looks like that. And that looks pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to get a circle to appear in the middle. So when it comes in, we're going to make a circle um, come in and uh, get more. Wait, I'll just show you guys. So if we go to the circle, make it in the middle. Let's hold shift. There we go. I want to make it that green color that we had. So just go to fill. Put the pipette and go to the green. Now we want to align it. So if you click down here in the middle and click that, Let's try that again. Oh no, we need to let me try this again. One sec, guys. Need to delete that circle. Let me just make that circle again. Right. Circle. There you go. Align and put it in the middle. However, the anchor point isn't wasn't in the middle there, so we're gonna have to do that again. As you can see the anchor point's over there. So we just wanna make that. Oh, got to. Put it kind of in the middle, something like this. There we go. Um, and then we want to align it and put it right in the center of the screen. So when the white comes in, we want the green circle to come in. So if you just go down to transform, go to scale, and you want to make you want to start off pretty small, so zero, and then a little bit to the a little further on you want to make it really big and then a little further on make it a bit smaller something like that and then you just to highlight them right click keyframe assistant and easy ease so if you just watch that back do something like that and it's a really really smooth transition I'm basically showing you guys some simple things that you can add to your intros it might not look the best, but it's just cool transitions you guys can do. And then maybe once you've done that, you can make a logo appear in the middle or some text. So what else could we do? We could make a rectangle appear in the center. So if you just click at the top over here, go to rectangle tool uh, and make it white. We'll make a rectangle. In fact, go to fill. Wait, let's start again. Um, go to, well, we'll make it fill, pipette, and then click on the background. We want it to be the same color as the background. And we're going to put it right in the middle. Like so. Oh, the anchor point isn't in the center again, so we'll just drag that over. There we go. And what, what we want to do is make it just come in. So if you go to scale, and you want to click this little thing right here. So now what we can do, if we change that to zero, we can make it do something like this. make it come out like that and if we right click on them keyframe assistant easy ease you will get something like this you get a nice rectangle rectangle going through the middle and then you can probably put your text in that little rectangle there so as you can see, it's like that. And then when once that comes in, 
add some text, put name. We'll make it that green color. Like so. Make it a bit bigger. And then align it and put it in the center. And what we're gonna do for this is if you just click on the arrow on it, go to transform, scale, and then click that again, make it zero. And then move it across a little bit, and then make it 100. And then we'll just highlight them, right click keyframe assistant easy ease and then what what that will do is make it just come in from the side I'll show you guys one more time so you get that cool transition the circle and then the name but we're gonna make that last a little bit longer it comes in quite quickly so we'll just move the keyframes apart and then you get that nice little fade so yeah that's probably about it for the tutorial if you let me just watch it one more time we'll show you one more time pretty simple stuff if you guys want this um, template then can we smash 250 likes um, that would really mean a lot if you could smash that subscribe if you're new also comment down below what video you would like to see me do next are there any tutorials speed arts um, any templates you want I've got a good video idea for my next one just want to hear you guys opinions um, but yeah if you did enjoy the video 250 likes for the template and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one